Hi, I'm Tina. Welcome to the Faculty of Environment. Thank you for choosing SFU and congratulations on your offer of admission. We know that these are very uncertain times, so I think that it's very important to take a moment and celebrate your accomplishment. You've worked really hard to gain admission to SFU and we're very excited for you to join us. We'll do whatever we can to support you as you transition to university in these challenging times. Although you can't physically come to our campus, I want to assure you that we are here, we are online, and we are ready and available to help you. You should have received your welcome brochure in the mail. Each brochure is specific to your program. The brochure has interesting stories about our students, faculty, and our alumni. As well, it has some great campus tips. If you haven't received a brochure yet, don't worry. You can email me and I'll make sure you get one. You can also contact me with any questions you might have. I'm here to help. On the back of the brochure, you will find a list of some of the careers you can pursue with your degree. After all, a career is likely one of the main reasons you're coming to SFU. Studying in the Faculty of Environment will create hundreds of interesting and exciting career opportunities. Take a look! I thought that archaeology was all about digging up rocks. I mainly work in the lab here. We get exhibits from different investigators and we process them for fingerprints. Environmental science is a study associated with uh, environmental issues and include air pollution, like the people smoking. Geography kind of has uh, immediacy to it. I'm on a co-op with TransLink. We're hoping that providing alternative routes could reduce travel times, reduce time spent on the road, and reduce emissions. Food system planning is highly interdisciplinary and it aims to show the interconnectivity of all systems. The cool thing about my research is I get to collaborate with different experts. Food connects us all. Our programs prepare you for outstanding career possibilities, and that is largely due to our engaged professors. You're fortunate because SFU is Canada's number one comprehensive university, so you will be learning from some of the best researchers in their fields. For professors, Canada's highest academic honour comes from the Royal Society of Canada. It's like the Academy Awards for researchers. Nicholas Blomley from our geography program was inducted to the Royal Society for his groundbreaking work on legal geography and helping marginalized populations. Imagine studying with Nick in Vancouver's downtown east side, where you might tackle issues relating to homelessness or drug addiction. Another Royal Society of Canada inductee is Anne Solomon. She's a professor in our Resource and Environmental Management program. Anne's award-winning research is in cooperation with Coastal First Nations focusing on ecologically safe and socially just fisheries. Imagine suiting up in scuba gear to accompany Anne in the kelp forests off the central coast of BC. In the Department of Archaeology, one of our very popular professors, Hugo Cardoso, was inducted to the Royal Society for his work as co-director of the Center for Forensic Research. Hugo leads a field school in Portugal where students get their hands dirty in a genuine archaeological dig. Imagine traveling to Portugal to discover how past societies lived. And remember Chantel from our video? Well, Chantel worked in our very own forensics lab on campus, identifying human remains and causes of death. The connections she made and the knowledge she gained in that class landed her the co-op job with the RCMP in their crime lab. A degree in the Faculty of Environment can take you in many different directions. You will find your way once you begin your journey. We know from experience how important a sense of community is to student success. So we are committed to creating opportunities to interact with classmates, your professors and our staff. We want to help you grow your SFU community. 
We host a variety of activities at the start of the semester, including Welcome Day, Week of Welcome, and Frosh. These may be a combination of online and small group activities this fall. This is where you'll meet classmates, find out about clubs, and locate all of the resources to be successful. We encourage you to participate. Get familiar with your campus, connect with other students, and have some fun. There are student groups on campus that do some really cool initiatives. For example, one of the popular clubs with our environment student is Embark. Embark has a food rescue program that secures ugly produce from grocers and gets it to students on our campus or at the local food banks. Sustainability Peers is another great student group. We also have three on-campus learning gardens so students can explore their connections to food production in their own community. There are over 100 different clubs on campus. Try backpacking, chess, debate, hip-hop, jazz band or poetry. Find one you like and get involved. Each department has a student union. They are a leadership team that plans social events and community engagement activities. They also provide mentorship to all students within our faculty. They would love for you to join them. I highly recommend you hang out in your student union lounge. You will undoubtedly engage in important debates about the best places on campus for pizza, sushi, or a cup of coffee. The individuals on this slide will play a huge role in your academic success. Each of you has a designated academic advisor specific to your area of study. Get to know them. Your advisor will help with course selection and online registration. Registration for fall will begin at the end of June, so don't be afraid to start asking them questions now. They want to help you. We know from experience that students who check in with advisors regularly do way better in school. And if you find yourself struggling, the advisors can help get you back on track. Another resource person to connect with is Paul. He's our Faculty of Environment Co-op Coordinator. The Cooperative Education Program integrates work experience with academic studies. Co-op will be an optional program for you. It enables you to alternate between study semesters and paid resume boosting work semesters. Here are some examples of co-op jobs that our students have held. Gigi is an environmental science student. He had a co-op job placement at St. Paul's Hospital in their Heart and Lung Innovation Lab. Gigi learned to use data to examine the impact of forest fires, vaping, and infectious disease on our lungs. Imagine working in a lab like this and collecting data on COVID-19. Brennan, a second year resource and environmental management student, spent his summer chasing green city goals while working with the city of Vancouver. Armed with an electric bike and a toolbox, Brennan worked as a water efficiency advisor. He was part of a team of students helping Vancouver become one of the greenest cities in the world. During his four month co-op, he helped reduce outdoor water use by an impressive 30%. Imagine being able to add that to your resume. There are hundreds of co-op opportunities waiting for you, just like the ones Gigi and Brennan experienced. As you can see, studying in the Faculty of Environment is more than you think. If you're ready to join us and you want to accept your offer of admission, send me an email and I'll walk you through the next steps. If your parents have questions, they can email me too. Be sure to stay connected with us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. See you in September.